was that? It's a man! What, is he dead? No, sir! He's writing! Repeat! He's writing, sir! He's writing in a notebook! That man was not mad. He was working with shrapnel whistling round him because he couldn't wait. The contents of that notebook were too important to write it down later. He had to do it when his mind dictated. He couldn't put it off a single second. What was so important that he would risk his life for it? What was he writing that stopped him from standing up and running like any other man would have done? The Tractatus Logico-Philosophicus. The most influential philosophical work of the 20th century. That soldier was called Ludwig Wittgenstein, the man who set the limits on our thoughts. The enigma that he tried to decipher was the following. Can we know the truth? All the great thinkers throughout history have sought a single certainty, something which no one can refute, like two and two make four. In order to find that truth, Wittgenstein used, in fact, mathematical logic. What better means of obtaining a certainty than an immutable language free from the passions of men? He advanced slowly, using equation after equation with impeccable method, until he reached a terrifying conclusion. There is no such truth outside of mathematics. There is no way of finding a single absolute truth, an irrefutable argument which might help answer the questions of mankind. Philosophy, therefore, is dead. Because whereof we cannot speak, thereof we must be silent.